In this tutorial, we'll go through the process of syncing your designs from Figma using the Overflow plugin for Figma. Before you start bringing your Figma designs into Overflow, it's essential to install the plugin through Figma's Community Hub. To do so, search for Overflow, filter for Plugins, and then choose Overflow from the search results list. To complete the installation process, hit the Install button at the top right corner of the Overflow plugin listing page. Once you're done, open the Figma file you want to sync your designs from. Select all the frames you want to bring inside Overflow. To continue, find Plugins from Figma's main menu on the top left corner and then click on Overflow. The pop-up menu that appears gives you the option to pick the export density of your frames. Additionally, you can choose to maintain the prototyping connections you have already built with Figma. This significantly cuts down the time required to create your user flow diagram and overflow since your connections will be preserved and you won't need to recreate them. Once you're done picking your preferred options, hit on the Sync to Overflow button and wait for your designs to appear inside your overflow editor. Notice how your screens are laid out the same way they were in Figma. Once in Overflow, you can rearrange your screens in any way that suits your needs. You can also wrap them in device skins for added context and consistency. The next step is to connect your screens with each other to get an interactive user flow diagram. Your original design layers from Figma are maintained in Overflow, so each design element can be the starting point of outbound connectors. In case you make any changes to your original artboards in Figma, it's pretty straightforward to apply them to your diagram by resyncing with Overflow. If those changes included moving a layer in Figma, resyncing will automatically update your connectors to reflect the new position of the underlying layer. You can always make manual edits to your diagram to suit your particular needs. Do note that Overflow refers back to your original Figma frame names to identify which screen needs to be updated each time you resync. Therefore, it is important that you maintain your screen names consistent throughout the process.